um, con- congratulations on um, all your your haul today. Uh, what what was your reaction when you found out you were Big East Player of the Year and Big East Freshman of the Year? Um, I mean, obviously, I was happy, um, proud of myself, um, but just super thankful and super blessed to be in this position. Um, I have to give all credit to God and to my teammates and my coaches. Um, I wouldn't be freshman of the year or player of the year without them. Um, everything they do for me, they sacrifice for me. Um, they set screens for me. They, I mean, they're the reason I have assists and a lot of points. Um, so just giving them credit for all that they do. I know I got the award, but, um, they put a huge role in it as well. Hey Paige, this is Charlotte Kale from The Athletic. How are you feeling going into your first collegiate postseason? I'm excited. I think we all are. Um, and we're obviously just thankful to be able to get this far. I know last year the tournament got shut down. So just to be able to play um, in the postseason and starting with the Big East tournament, I think I'm really excited and our whole team is as well. Do you think it's going to feel, I guess, like a postseason in a traditional sense or are you kind of taking just another game mentality? No, I, I think we're all knowing that we have – a uh, higher sense of urgency right now um, just because obviously it's March and every game counts, every game matters um, from here on out. Uh, if we lose, we're done, whether that be the Big East tournament, we're out, or the NCAA tournament, our season's over. So I think we're we're going to have to step up our level of play in urgency. Hey, Paige, with both those tournaments being in a bubble, how prepared do you think just you are personally and the team is to go into a bubble like that and really only be allowed in your hotel room and on the basketball court? Uh, I think we're ready to sacrifice whatever we have to do to play. Um, I mean, obviously, it's going to be different. We're going to be either at the practice gym, the main court, or – our hotel. So there's really only three locations we can be at. It's going to be like, I mean, we're going to be in a bubble. We're going to be located into our rooms only. So, I mean, it's going to be hard and going to be different, but we're willing to sacrifice and do whatever we have to do to play, especially uh, in a huge tournament games like this. Um, Hey, this is Michelle Vopel of ESPN.com. Congrats on your awards. I know the pandemic obviously has made everything different, but um, can you talk about your role on the court? Did you think it would be the way that it has been, you know, when you were thinking about coming to UConn, has anything about it surprised you or was this sort of the way that you anticipated it would go? Uh, I think me just having to step into a bigger leadership role was kind of new for me. Uh, I mean, coach had, put it into my head when I was a senior in high school about how he, he needed me to come in and be a leader right away. But that's definitely something different. It's either easier said than done. Um, just knowing that I had to come in and be a leader. Um, and when it was, it was a learning experience. It was a growth growth experience too. Um, obviously at the start, I wasn't as confident and I kind of just wanted to like fit in and get get to know my role and what my the team needed me to do. And then once I got that confidence um, and everything that I was supposed to do and what my team needed me to do and what the coaches wanted me to do, uh, that's when I started really starting to use my voice and just step into that leadership role. I mean, we have three great upperclassmen, um, but we also have a really young team, so they can't be the only ones that use their voice and sort of be somebody that people can look at um, for leadership advice and just – for energy and effort. So I think sort of just me stepping into a bigger leadership role than what I was used to was uh, different for me. What about just the basketball aspect? Because you've seemed very comfortable with the speed of the game, the speed, um, the decisions need to be made, the way that you have to adjust to defenses. Did, is any of that, has that been about what you expected it to be? Or, or are you sort of surprising yourself somewhat that you were able to adjust so quickly to the college game? Uh, no, I think it's probably because, um, how we practice, um, our practices are a whole lot harder than games. So stepping out of the court, it kind of slows down for you. Um, just cause he pushes us so hard in practice. He makes sure that he's our toughest opponent we face all year. So I think that is a big aspect into like kind of the game slowing down when we're actually playing games. 
Um, and just the different looks he throws at us in practice. He makes sure we see everything and we can read everything and film obviously helps. Um, but no, the college game is definitely sped up and faster than high school and girls are bigger, girls are stronger, girls are quicker. So that was definitely an adjustment. But I think just the confidence that he instills in all of our players, that if we can win practice and if we can beat him in practice, that uh, nobody can beat us in a game. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, just to, to follow up on Michelle's question, when do you think you found or that point where you you got that full confidence, I guess, you mentioned finding your voice, I guess, what point of the season was that for you? Um, definitely, I think when we got into like the swing of games, um, obviously without a constant like flow and constant rhythm in gameplay, um, especially with the delay at the start of the season, it was kind of hard to just kind of sit back and read how things were going to go into games from practice. So me learning my role and understanding what I needed to do on the court, um, I think that's when I started understanding my role a little bit more. When school isn't a place you have to be, why not go to school where remote learning can be as remote as you want? These are some plants I found hiking. Here we have a pine cone. And then... There's a three, not a peak. Oh, yeah. Whatever kind of vacation your family needs right now, find it on Verbo. It isn't surprising. People are getting lost to find themselves, and discovering the best part is hidden in the journey. The CX-30, inspiring performance with available iActive all-wheel drive. Hey, just Carl Adamek. I'm prob you're probably aware that you and Maya Moore are the only UConn players to win Player of the Year and Freshman of the Year. I'm just curious, growing up, in Minnesota, how often you had a chance to watch Maya play and just, you know, your impressions and to do something that she does, you know, that she did, what does that mean to you? Yeah, I mean, it's, I'm in elite company, um, the best of the best, really. Uh, I, yeah, when I was in Minnesota, she played for the Lynx. I grew up watching her, her, Lindsay Whalen, Rebecca Brunson, um, and players like that. Just, I looked up to them and I always would go to watch their games and I was like, a really big fan. Um, I had all the gear and all the stuff like that. So just for me to be in the same position that she was when she was here, um, that's, that's really why I came here to, cause that they get pushed to be the best. And so just me seeing that in the footsteps and where I could be going, if I continue to get better and continue to be coachable and continue to be better for my teammates and my coaches, it's really amazing just to see that. And I think, I mean, I'm really grateful to be in this position. Paige, we just spoke to Gino, who said that this year, because of how young this team is, but yet how much it's accomplished, that it's been both very fun and very frustrating. From a player standpoint, how would you describe it? Yeah, I mean, there was a lot of learning curves that we had to go through. Um, everything wasn't easy. Everything we didn't understand right away. Um, I know coach got a lot more gray hairs coaching us. Um, but now nah, he stayed patient and through the ups and downs, we sort of just stuck together and we try to just, I mean, keep working, keep getting better and start listening better and just making sure we are paying attention to more of the details. Cause that's what he's really big on. Um, but I mean, it's really fun because we all play hard. We all get along with each other. Um, we have great chemistry on and off the court, and that's grown as well. I think that was a huge part of our growth um, over time is just our communication and getting to know each other better on the court. Um, and he was really big on that for us. Um, so it's been a lot of learning curves. I mean, six freshmen, um, seven new people who haven't played Connecticut basketball before. But to see what he's done with a group like us, um, it's really amazing. Thank you very much. Congrats. Thank you. 